well, Team USA lost two games in a row in exhibition. Now, first I'll have to say that I did not watch any of these games. I'm currently on a road trip, and I'm actually in Yellowstone right now. So in there, it's a national park. There's barely any Wi-Fi. There's no TV. So I couldn't catch any of the games. But just looking at the box score, looking at the highlights, it's been bad for this USA team. So we can look at this in two ways. We can say, oh, this is just an expedition game. This thing has no count to the real Olympics. But you can all see that, like, this team is struggling. This team just is too talented to lose to Australia. And it's not like that, what is that, FIBA team, like, last, a couple years ago, with, like, Kemba Walker was their best player. No, this team has Kevin Durant, Jason Tatum, Bradley Beal, and Damian Lillard. And they're losing to Patty Mills. Patty Mills. They're losing to Patty Mills, Matisse Thybul, and Joe Ingles. Like... Come on, you can't do that. And, man, I mean, just talking about, from what I saw, Thibault was amazing, especially on defense. He blocked KD. I mean, that's the second time KD has been blocked by Precious, which was also a pretty big us, uh, upset. But, I mean, it still doesn't matter much. I mean, this team still is so good. They, they still are coached by potentially the best coach in NBA history. You can argue Pop or Phil Jackson. I would... I'm. I'm not sure, but they. this is kind of embarrassing, and it's kind of sad how much they're struggling. I mean, they actually had the lead, I'm pretty sure, but they lost by eight points. Patty Mills took over, I guess, and this is crazy, and Team USA, like, what is Team USA doing? I have no idea. I mean, we'll see what happens in the Real Olympics. You, you probably have Kevin Durant stepping up more. Probably more players will step up. Because these players don't really care about these games. But this is very interesting.